Yuki Baksa. Want to go over this quickly with you guys. Oh, I get a lot of questions about this. This is the world's lightest fixed blade 12 inch buck saw. It weighs roughly four ounces. The two engineered boomerang like pieces have aluminum offsets in between, create rigid rigidity. And what this does is it allows you to tension the blade a lot. There is some heat shrink around the handle for comfort and a removable dowel pin at the front with two spacers through the blade so that you can replace it. At the back is a washer with a nut, a wing nut, that allows you to tension it. But let's not talk about the saw so much. Let's see it in action. First step is uh, getting some wood. It's a solid three inches. Now then, there's a couple of tricks when using the buck saw. As a matter of fact, a couple of tricks when using any buck saw. As you cut, this piece can move up and tend to pinch the blade, making it hard to continue cutting. So what you need to do is, while securing the part before the piece you're cutting, just apply a little bit of pressure. I'll show you right here. And there you go. Tip number two. I'm a little bit out of breath because I've actually been cutting wood. I'm on a trip right now. I've got a ton of wood. The blade is very coarse. This is because I prefer to use a saw on larger pieces of timber. If it's, you know, within an inch or something like that, inch and a half, chances are you can probably break it with your foot. This blade is very ideal three inch and up. That way it's large enough that the load is spread over a number of different teeth. If you tried to cut something very small with it, let's say this, I'm not saying you can't do it, but it becomes difficult. I don't know if you can see that because the teeth are so coarse. So if you're looking just to cut small stuff, try breaking it with your hand. You shouldn't have a problem. If you're looking to cut the bigger stuff, use the saw. Thanks for watching guys. I'll put a link in the description for the Uki Buck saw. Let me know how you like it when you buy it. See ya.